Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first hair update on my YouTube channel and I'm going to start doing a little bit more hair videos and then and and yeah <laughs> so without further ado let's get started so I big chopped on July 14th I believe yeah on July 14th and I'm going to title this I'm going to title this one week post big chop but when I upload this it'll probably be like the day before but honestly there probably won't be any change in my hair anyway so so the first thing I wanted to show you guys is my do so let's bring you guys a little closer so if you're looking at my hair um all I did for today was well actually last night I washed my hair with this Shea Moisture restorative conditioner thing that would tear up my relaxed hair, but it's working pretty well on my natural hair. Then I put some of the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie in my hair, and I did it by section, yeah. And then I um, put on like my bonnet and stuff and I went to sleep. And then when I woke up this morning, my hair was like compacted and crazy. And I don't own a pick, so I'm going to get a pick, but I used a comb and I did like a picking motion and I ended up with this. So now I'm gonna show you guys how long my hair is. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Sorry if I'm like looking to the side, I'm looking at the viewfinder. So I'm gonna grab like a piece up here. One thing that I don't like is whenever I stretch my curls to see how long it is, they like don't bounce back. Cause they're still kind of getting used to like my big chop. So this is a front piece. It goes down pretty far. Like, yeah, I didn't even know my hair was this long and then it bounces back, but it's still a little, loose and then for a side piece it's about it looks like this it's it's pretty far out um probably a little bit it's probably like two or three and a half inches so that's pretty cool and see like <laughs> it's not bouncing back that's why i don't like doing that the last time i did this was like last night these this piece is going all the way down to here so all in all uh shrinkage is real so all in all shrinkage is so real i didn't know like how much shrinkage i had until like last night or so and I don't mind having shrinkage. It's cool. I think I think it's cool I like it. So yeah, so next thing is struggles. I've been having struggles with styling my hair um, when it would come to the first morning I wet my hair and then I put that Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and then I did finger coils and my hair looked good I have a picture of it right here for you to look at I posted it out on my Instagram. You should go check out my Instagram. That day was great. I didn't have any headbands or stuff in it, but the days after that, I put like headbands on my hair and I like did a side part. I did a whole bunch of stuff and I didn't really like my hair that much. I liked my hair the best on the first day. And so that's been kind of a struggle. So if you do have any styling tips on like how to style a TWA, then give me a holla. And I tried braiding my hair. It, no, it did not go well. Single strand knots. I've had probably six single strand knots that I have um, fixed on my own. And it's been like a week. And so um, I have no idea how to prevent that. I've been using a bonnet. I've been detangling my hair like every other day. So I don't really know what to do about that. So yeah. My another thing is I've been having a problem with my head still being itchy after I apply like an oil or a leave-in or like a moisturizer. My head is still itchy. My hair isn't dry, but my head is itchy. But right now, my head isn't itchy, and so I'm thinking maybe it was the conditioner I used last night. But we'll see how that turns out. And then two other things that I'm try still figuring out is 
when I'm going to like wash my hair, when I'm going to moisturize it, when I'm going to wet it because I've been wetting my hair almost every single day and I know that like that's not the most healthiest thing for curly hair. Like, I mean drenching it. I know drenching it is not okay, but like, you know, spraying it, giving it some water is fine. So I'm still trying to figure out what my hair needs or what my hair wants. Also frizz, which frizz and my curls not being defined. Like right now, my curls aren't as defined as I would want them to be. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but if you look at my curls, they're like not super defined which is kind of annoying. So yeah, that's also a problem, but I'm just still learning and I also haven't put a gel in my hair yet. I have a big old thing of Eco Styler, but I'm hesitant to use it because I don't know if I want to put that on my natural hair. So I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do that. Overall, I'm really glad I did the big job. I'm loving my, my little TWA. Usually I'd be wearing like a headband or something with it, but I didn't feel like doing that today. So, yeah, I really, I really like it. I'm so glad I big chopped. It's a relief and I am 100% me right now, which feels really good. Like right now, no makeup, no chemically straightened hair and it feels great. But one problem I do have is that my sister keeps asking me for advice on how to take care of her relaxed hair, but I don't know how to take care of relaxed hair. I am natural, so. So yeah. <laughs> so I really hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, um, leave me some recommendations on like videos you'd want to see, or maybe even advice, products I should use, how to avoid single strand knots. I really need to know that. And yeah, so I hope to see you guys next time.